Hey guys, Liam Sven playing some Curse of the Teddy Bear Landlord. What is this game, and where did I leave off when last I left it? And if you're watching this, like, later on through perusing a playlist when I get, like, super popular and have a million fans, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But I took a break. Yes, I took a break. And, like, last time you probably know better than me, but I found, like, a note there, and I found a key to a well room, but not hell. And there's a dryer going in the background, because this mic is pretty sensitive. However, I have got some kind of a thing that I can go to outside, if I recall. And it seems last time I was talking about some dumb stuff qu quite frequently in this mission that I would like to stop doing, so I, I won't. And that, 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 that guy is over there, and, uh, yes. Yes. <coughs> it's the curse of Yowena. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's Barney. With, with like an... W wait. Barney. Oh, yes, Barney. See, I thought it was Benny, but... Clearly... Oh, yes, this is, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Because I think I've gone in there, and that's probably where the statue, like, accident scene is. And I think that there's also an archer up there who... On my first playthrough, I kept wondering how I got spotted. But I'm not sure if he turns around or not, so let's just wait for, like, quite a long time, I guess? I guess not. So, so that was an incredible way. However, that guy turns around. He turns around like a ballerina, but he's not wearing any shoes, because, because seriously, I think there's probably some darkness around there, so if I simply wait for this guy, or just, I could have just done it right at the start with nary a problem, and I think if I go to knock him out, that archer might see me. Can I unlock? I can. Gonna have to get used to this mission style again. It's 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 pretty down to earth and stuff. And then there's lock pickable doors and everything, and notes with like square button looking things without redness on them. Dot. Explosive. Handle with care. Right, everything is ready. We place the charges. This barrel of explosives and this fire arrow are the only ones remaining. Don't waste them this time! I know you like to use them for fireworks, like used them last week, but we may need them in the future. Garth! Wow, did I see s some kind of blue type thing? No, no, totally didn't, totally didn't. Guess I can turn that on if I want to. Why in God's name would I want to do that? Anyways, that's something I'm going to want to use. However... I would first of all like to try and remember if I can even get up here without being seen because it seems like kind of unlikely if you ask me and I'm not going to tap on the floor because tapping on the floor is kind of crazy. And also I realized that I got in my missions I Where you come from? He's got loot on him which I probably want um except oh wait a minute there's that lantern. I wonder if I can put it out. Yes, I've been having so many parts of me figuring things out, which I guess people say they like. I kind of thought maybe I could cut a few more bits out, but maybe not. Anyways, I was just testing to see if I can put this out to see if it's the source of the light. But there's a way to get that guy's loot. I can't remember what it is. So instead, I'm going to try to just knock out this guy without being seen. Because there seems to be a door over that side. And possibly also inside there. And possibly the way I get up there is by climbing from the inside. Maybe. I don't know. Turn around! Thank you. That's a slightly Hello. different way than I thought it would be, but that's okay. Ah, and then I get to dump you in here because this is a dump for bullet bills. of uh, bills. Bill. Bill, you have been assimilated. Let's open the chest. <laughs> oh, well. It's even more loot. Well, I got a fairly good chunk of loot already, but more will be required. This is why I'm going to so much trouble. Just <laughs> for bread. To snatch this guy's loot. And no, there's no way up from inside. So it's, it's kind of weird and stuff. However, there... No? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. But seriously, if I can't do it quietly, I'm not doing it at all. I'm gonna, I mean, I, I've probably got enough let to not have to get that guy's stuff. So, 
let's go in the garden key here, and yes, it's this door here, it's not so mysterious after all. However, this is in fact a very nice shortcut, because you see, hang on, that is the wrong shed entirely, I'm mixing up my sheds, it's completely crazy and stuff, and this is like a barrel with the old fire logo on the new barrel, and sort of pasted on there very awkwardly and stuff. Now, if I can simply remember which way is the dungeon. Nah? I'm afraid I have rather, I mean, King Story has rather given me a taste for blind missions, and I really should have opened these doors before here because there's only like so much many times you can put this barrel down, so let me make sure everything's open in front of me first, and this is possibly the dungeon right here, and there's probably no more doors at all, it's just kinda there, so we seem to be in the clear, so allow me to now carry this barrel forth, uh, like a soldier on the path of war. Or perhaps even the path of despair, because you're gonna see what I mean by that, because that's a joke, and man, I really want to play a mission where I don't know what's going on. It's it's just crazy. The worst way, man. What? Oh, I can't even throw it, so I have to put it down. And did I just say I didn't want to make any noise? Well, I'm about to make noise. Ah, I forgot about the long distance. Of All right, let's try a slightly different tack that might actually be kind of the same or not. Since this is kind of going to be out of my range, why don't I try using like a normal... Do I have a flare? I probably have got flares, and they're useless other than, like, lighting stuff, so perhaps... Ah. Wow. Rubble just missed me. And there's a spinning piece of spin. Oh, it didn't fin- it didn't spin forever. Anyways, there's this door. A door that has not been opened in... ages. Huh. <laughs> There's our nasty surprise. A cage! It's nasty! Just ask Eowyn! And here is the well of despair, and for some reason... There is this mystical music instead of, like, scary music and... Stuff. Anyways, it seems like there's a... Can I hear somebody? Uh, a path over here which possibly is, like part of the basement? I'm not too sure. Wait a minute. This... Wait, 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 wait. This is what? This is like some room I haven't even opened yet? Yeah, hey. It's locked. What? Why would a portrait be locked? That is a very silly concept, and possibly there's a switch somewhere. Well, but I'll just leave keys on it like nobody's business, just for no reason. That seems to be all the keys I have for some reason. I, I don't quite understand this, except... Possibly, no, I think I do understand, because I probably have to be down here and go do stuff with the well, because, like, I was just going to before I was like, hey, there's a passage that I don't even remember here, it's... And, uh, uh, my, my frame rate's going funky or something, it's like up and down all over the place. What, 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 okay, so that's, that's that, that's that, anyways, clearly what I have to do is go into the well. <clears throat> Get hurt, there's a skeleton, possibly Rowena, Rowena's key, but she is still alive through some kind of ghost, because this is like this, the, the most, like, dickish thing. Whoa, it's like, it's like a ritual thing. Put on my glasses here. <clears throat> Damn it all! Duncan threw us in this cursed well, and now we are just sitting here waiting to die, alongside the remains of those who died before us. Jervis is lying beside me, his legs broken. His muttering is becoming more and more faint. Why must I die this way? Why am I to blame? What am I, a rapist, a thief, a ferocious murderer? No, I never hurt anyone in my whole life. My only fault was being unfaithful to a husband who hated me. I only wish to find a bit of happiness in the arms of another man. Damn right. Curse you, father, for having obliged me to marry this man. Curse you, Duncan, for making me suffer like this. Curse the woman who will ever be able to love you. Curse all your descendants. But I will not die. My hatred will keep me alive. 
Jervis died in my arms three days ago. The poor man. I don't know if I really loved him, but he was a tender and passionate lover. I had to move away from his corpse. Its smell had become unbearable. I think I may have lost my key around there, but it doesn't matter because I will not need it anymore. I'm not going anywhere. Aww. I'm feeling much weaker. I can hardly stand. How many days have passed since then? Duncan is no longer coming to watch me. The candles he used to drop down here are almost extinguished. And then, darkness. Death! I don't want to die! I know all the secrets of this house, but there is no way to get out of this well. If only I could fly. If there was a way, maybe, maybe, I think I remember something. My mother showed me the way before dying. My soul will be damned, but I will survive. All I need are three candles and something to draw the magic symbol. Prince of Darkness, Lord of the Damned, I invoke you. Make me survive. Give me the eternal life you promised to your followers, and I will be your faithful servant for all eternity. Let me have my revenge on my enemies. I will drink their blood. I will devour their hearts, and I will give you their souls. My lord, make this spell successful. Build me a stairway of light to get out of this well of darkness. Acta belleni kveltos zelena. Possibly a reference. And that is the point where she stopped being honorable. And the point where she started... Doing things of her own fault. Even though you can certainly understand. But man. That is like, what is the word I'm looking for? The writing is like, uh, uh, uh subtle. The way Rowena talks about her one night stand there is pretty, yeah. Also, like, am I supposed to use her key to get out of here? Or, or is it just some kind of... Oh, it is. Hang on. Hey, it's like a new room. It's completely new, and that counts as loot for some reason. It's pretty weird. And that guy's purse actually counted for like 200 and something, so it was kind of a lot. So maybe I have to go back and just blow him up to shreds because it's, you know, might be what I have to do. And I know at least one guy, uh, person, has stated that they enjoy watching this and wondering where it went. So at least somebody's, you know, interested. It's all good. Uh, in this book, I'm going to report about the events which happened inside Lord Baffer's manor in the year of the Builder, 937. Strange things were happening at that time. About a dozen girls had mysteriously disappeared. People were frightened. It was rumored that a werewolf was wandering about the woods which surround Lord Baffer's estate. Suddenly, one night, Lord Bafford came to see me in a great secrecy. I didn't know he was back. He had moved to town more than a year before, and there he got married for the second time. They said that it was just like him to get his first wife killed because of her treachery. That night, however, he looked like a poor man struck with terror. Rowena is still alive. She took my wife and she is going to kill her, he said. It's not a ghost that I've seen. It was Rowena in the flesh. She's back to revenge herself. She dragged my wife away, and I could do nothing to stop her. She seems to be endowed with strange powers. She said that she would kill my wife tomorrow night. I implore you to help me. Maybe you can stop her with your magic. It was difficult to believe him. I had to verify personally, so the next night I went to Lord Bafford's mansion. As soon as I arrived, he took me to the garden. There was a huge statue of the trickster in the middle of it, and Lord Bafford had discovered a secret passage which opened at his base. We advanced in dark corridors in what seemed a descent to hell. As we arrived in an open space, we saw a terrifying being coming toward us with a menacing look. I tried to hit him with a magic bolt, but his only answer was a devilish laughter which made our blood run cold. Immediately afterward, we were surrounded by a group of demons, and we could hardly avoid their fury by taking shelter in a narrow tunnel nearby. Shuddering with fear, we went right down the tunnel, and at its exit, we were standing on a sort of a footbridge, which ran all around, above a great hall. Below us, just in the center of the hall, there was an altar, and Lord Bafford's wife was lying on it. She was still alive, and she was not tied up. She just lay there with her eyes wide open as if a spell could not prevent her from moving, could prevent her from moving. The scene was lit by the light of the torches set all around and by the light of the moon which poured through a large hole above the altar. 
somehow, even though I don't see it on the surface. Rowena was there, standing in front of the altar, with a dagger in her hand. All of a sudden, Rowena raised the dagger and thrust it into the breast of the woman, extracting her still palpitating heart, and then... Oh, I just can't tell it. I still have in my eyes the horror of what I have seen. Many hours passed after Rowena was gone before we took the courage to leave our hideout. With our great surprise, we saw that the demons had fallen asleep on the floor. So when we... Weird. So when we found Rowena asleep too in a little room next to the sacrifice hall, I told Lord Bafford that that was the right moment to kill her, but he said that it was impossible. She seemed to have become invulnerable. Next time it will be my turn, he said, and then she will kill my son. I beg you to help me. There must be a way to stop her. As soon as I returned home, I went to the library. I remembered that there was a treatise by Brother Homer about the undead. I searched for some information, and this is what I found. These creatures are similar to the undead, but it would be incorrect to call them zombies, because in fact they have never died. Generally, they are people who are consecrated themselves to the evil one in order to escape death. It has been reported of warriors surrounded by the enemies and near to defeat, or prisoners condemned to death who refused to accept their fate and came to that evil agreement. They are almost immortal, but they pres to preserve their appearance they have to sacrifice young victims every first full moon night in order to eat their hearts and drink their blood. They live surrounded by demons generated by their own minds who protect them. They seem to be invulnerable, but because of their unholy nature, a holy sword could damage or even kill them. So that was what Rowena had become. How could I defeat her? I had no idea or of where I could find a holy sword, and there was no time to make a search, however. Suddenly into my head came the idea to use the seal of the sleeper. If we could put it on her breast while she was asleep. A lot of talk about breasts in this thing here. Her sleep would become as deep as death itself. There was no time to waste. So the day after I returned to Lord Bafford, the day before, during our escape, we had discovered a secret passage which led straight into Rowena's room. We had to wait until she had fallen asleep, and then I went to her and put the seal on her breast. After that, we had to transport her in the underground caverns. If I was right, the demons had to be asleep too, and so it was. We left Rowena in the little room where we had seen her the day before. Thanks to the Builder, finally we got rid of that evil being. She would sleep forever, unless someone removes the seal from her breast. To be safe, at my suggestion, Lord Bafford closed the entire area with a huge gate. I, put my, I myself put the key of the gate in a hiding place in the library, together with an admonition for the one who will find it. I hope that at that time someone will have found the Holy Sword to definitively eliminate Rowena. Alastor, High Priest of the local Hammer Temple. Completely forgot how to do the accent. It's pretty amazing. So, I've read the book of Alastor. Rowena has transformed into a demon. Hmm, find the holy sword and kill her. Yes, okay, great. Well, uh, I, I, yeah. And, uh, I don't know what this room is, but it's some kind of door that possibly I could open with Rowena's key again. What are we here? Blue is the path of water. Yellow is the path of earth. Red is the path of fire. White. White is the path of air. Wefa. Oh, mm, so now she's... Better check my map. Helping me, yes. Well, I know, I know. It's the yellow guest rooms and stuff, and there's a blue thing that I haven't found for some reason, and it's just pretty weird and crazy and bizarre, and I guess it's like, the video's really long. Wow, saying that again. Slowly getting back into it, maybe possibly. Um, see you guys next time for more good old... Ruinin' in Bye.